Mary's pipe is a deadly elevator up to Rumia's room. There's an HP3 system in place, but deadly bullet bills will attack Mario. Get Rumia to run into the flames thrice, and she'll be defeated. So yeah, Rumia has HP3 too. That sounds kind of familiar. Slightly differently phrased, though. She's such a cute little HP3. Welcome to the elevator. Oh wait, this place isn't quite tall enough for the elevator. Purple pony point. Let's shit. Anyone who knows what the elevator's from. Ha ha ha. Some cheating to read it in the video description first. Totally. I don't remember where this elevator thing is from. Yeah, well, maybe I'll tell you soon enough to sneak it in somewhere. It's getting kind of dark. Getting kind of dark. Now it's light again. What's up with that? My eyes! They're suddenly working! Oh! Blinded by the light! Blink. Our toasters, toast, toasters, toast, toasters, toast, game over! Yeah! Then my refrigerator, because that makes sense in, in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Meth universe. I get regretful every time I refer to it as something other than that by mistake. You know, something like, and the King of the Crystal Skull instead of the King of the Crystal Math. Ow! Blue lava. Well, the elevator had no floor in it at all instead. I had to cling to the sides and kill robots. Why not, I guess. And that was a really tall tower. It somehow managed to sink straight down into the ground when it was destroyed, and then suddenly having like, thoughts of, that would have been accused of being a very tasteless 9-11 reference if it had been made anywhere near after that, instead of, you know, way before. Hmm. Chorem is not 9 feet 11 in, in as cracked up on claims. He is 9 feet 10 inches tall, at least according to the... I'm climbing the ladder! Americanized version. Okay. I turned off the darkness. Ha ha! Of course, in the original Japanese, it wouldn't have been measured in feet and inches in the first place. But, as it said, based on America, Arabian, it may have nonetheless taken into account. I might have said, ground on which they gave a nice, precise one, one ton. One that's metric, metric ton. ton. So it's not nearly such a nice number in uh, Imperial. Same, same with the uh, home run contest distance to a Makyoshi land. That was a nice, precise number in metric. That's what you turned off, along with the darkness. Yeah, and the... Attack the darkness with magic missile! Values at which things like low kick get stronger, those are measured in nice metric values. Not very nice imperial values. Mm. Oh, speaking of low kick, so I, I was checking out the Pokemon's TV, mm -hmm. and the dude was talking about moves for living. Mm -hmm. and low sweep. Is it really low kick or to the lower part of the leg? Yeah, I like that! Mm, I'm gonna hurt you! Yay! And it's, of course, the dude always mentions how these things are supposedly useful in real life. Apparently, low kick is great for preserving the modesty of a, of a woman who's wearing a short skirt but has to kick someone. So imagine a woman who's wearing a short skirt but, she, skirt but she has to kick someone. Go sweep! Yeah. And then Psy apparently Psy Shock, the thing that is a psychic special attack that inflicts physical damage. That's great for if you are all alone but need to practice physical comedy. You can make great slapstick, beat the shit out of yourself. Not exactly how we phrased it, obviously. So yeah, those dudes have some weird ideas. I love the low kick, the low sweep, though. That one uh, single-handedly justifies the existence of a moose for living. Dr. Technic, a machine. Imagine a woman's wearing a short skirt, but a short skirt or dress and needs to kick someone. Yeah, it's hard to... It's, it, that's really difficult to do. I'm not sure I can imagine a scenario that involves the phrase needs to kick someone. It's like... 
that's oddly precise of a requirement, you know? It's like, can there be a situation that that would fit that description needs to kick someone? And the dark girl is gone because she touched the light too many times. And thus reverted to egghood, and now she's even cuter than she was before because she's an egg and not even younger than baby. <laughs> <laughs> She's a foul-mouthed egg, and foul-mouthed babies are adorable, I guess. Fuck you! <laughs> and yes, that is fairly common in ROM hacks. Is it so? That's from World 7. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's from World 7. So on the left was World 3, on the right was World 7, that's actually World 2. Oh, there we go, sunk underground. Sunk Castle Rumia, that didn't look sunk. <laughs> Conquering World 2. World 3 is ruled by the Ice Fairy Tierno, who is a moronic, I mean, is a world of harsh winter. By the way, it seems Rumia has satisfied the conditions to transform into Yex Rumia. Is that so? Well, that's what happens when a ri ribbon comes off. Is that so, Nanoka? So, now she's the Yex Rumia's egg? Oh, apparently. So, whose face is this, anyway? Face? Sure, why not? I don't think this is a face. It totally is. I think it's that thing you type. I think uh, you know when you type carrot underscore carrot. I think it's that face. <laughs> With teeth. Mm. Hey, so long, everybody. It's been fun let's playing at you. And I'll see you all next time. Same bat time, same Marissa channel. <laughs>